In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Boink on a Raspberry Pi 5 from start to finish, including flashing the SD card with a fresh copy of Pi OS, and then adding your projects in the Boink Manager. If you're new to using Raspberry Pi for your Boink projects, make sure that your projects can run on ARM. You can confirm that from the Boink website by checking which project you're running and see if it has an ARM symbol next to the project. Some projects do not have compatibility with running on a Raspberry Pi, so you'll need to confirm that your project will run. First step will be to install Pi OS on an SD card. To do this, go to the Pi menu, down to Accessories, Imager, and from here we can flash an SD card with the Pi OS. I'm using an external USB card reader, so I'm just going to insert my SD card now. So in the Pi Imager, choose the device, Raspberry Pi 5, choose the OS. You can select the Pi OS 64-bit, the recommended version. Choose the destination, in my case the SD card in my card reader. Click Next. This is asking if we want to customize the installation process. We do not need to in this case. Click No. It's confirming that the SD card we've inserted is going to be fully erased. Make sure it is blank and you don't need any files from it. It's going to ask for your password. And now it's writing the Pi OS to the SD card. I'll speed this up so you don't need to wait. The card has been flashed successfully. I'm going to remove it and restart the Pi with a fresh card and show you how to set up the Pi and install Boink. Now we're at the Pi Setup Assistant. Click Next. Select your location. Set up a username and a password. You can select a Wi-Fi network to join. I'm going to skip this. Now we'll check if any software updates. I'm going to let it do that. It's found some updates, it's going to download and install them. I'll speed this process up. The updates have now finished installing. I'm going to restart the Pi. Here we are, a fresh installation of Pi OS Bookworm. I'm just going to adjust the screen resolution so it's a bit easier for you to read on the video. You do not need to do this step. Next step is to install the Boink Manager. To do that, open Terminal and type sudo apt get install space boink client space boink manager space dash y. This command will be in the description down below. It'll take a few moments just to install. That should be complete. To check it's installed, go to the Pi menu. Now System Tools will appear, and under there we should see Boink Manager. Click that, and Boink Manager will launch. At this stage, it's asking you to enter the project account details you may have. I'm just going to cancel that for the moment. I find the Boink Manager best if viewed in advanced mode. To do that, click View. Advanced view. There is a bug in the Boink Manager currently. This may happen when you open it up. 
Depending on when you're installing this, in the future that bug may be fixed. The current workaround is to resize this window. If you resize the window, that fixes the graphical bug. Now we're in advanced view. We can reshape this. Then you'd add your projects that you want the point manager to run. Click tools, add project. Select the project that you have account details for. For example, asteroids at home, click next. Click yes, existing user, enter your email and password, click next, and the project will be added to the Boink Manager. Then the Boink Manager will start running the task. And that's it for this quick video. If you found it useful, please like and subscribe.